Well, now that the dust has settled on Wisconsin season, we start to look forward to some decisions that need to be made by players with NFL futures. Yeah, Ryan Rodig from News 8 in La Crosse is with us to talk a little bit more about Peter Kahn's and Monty Ball, Ryan. Hey guys, eligible underclassmen like Kahn's and Ball have a January 15th deadline to declare for the NFL draft. Now, the two UW juniors have the chance to jump to the pros and follow in the footsteps of guys like J.J. Watt, who last year left after a Rose Bowl loss. The second team All-American center Cons could be the next big O-line prospect to go pro. He returned to the Rose Bowl after missing the last month with a dislocated ankle. Then there's the Heisman finalist Ball who tied the single season NCAA touchdown record tonight. Both say the end result of the game will have nothing to do though with their next decision. I think that would just be a little hasty. But I'm just going to think over everything, you know, you know, stock, uh, how well I play, how, how much I, I believe I need to keep working before I'm comfortable with making that step. A couple of players know my decision, <laughs> but I'll make sure to make it uh, in the next two, two or three days. But um, honestly, um, what I did was I just you know, told myself in the mirror, looked at myself in the mirror and told myself what I need to do, what I need to do for my family, what I need for my teammates. And that's pretty much what it came down to. And there's already going to be some offensive changes in the works. Now, quarterback Russell Wilson, of course, will be moving on. And they lose their offensive coordinator, Paul Chris. It'll be interesting to see if those decisions have anything to do with whether they come back or not. Yeah, and they both say that we'll hear sooner rather than later. Yeah, I gave him a chance. I said, come on, Monty, go ahead and tell me tonight. <laughs> right. he, said, uh, a couple he said he told a few players already. So some, there are some players in there that know. Right. Great, Ryan, thanks. Thank you, Ryan. Well, earlier today, the Tournament of Roses Parade rolled through Pasadena. And we have an update on a special story that Mark Lovacott shared with you last night a Beloit girl being honored for her gifts she gave as an organ donor on the donate life float. Haley Rath was 13 when she died in a car crash. Her photo today was on a float with 71 other donors from around the nation. A big, big honor. Flight leaves in three hours. Let's I move know, it along. That's, it's going to be a wrap from Pasadena back to 20 degrees in reality. Thanks everybody for sticking with us all week on Rose Bowl Extra. See you back in Madison.